And red. I didn't think you even knew how to use a phone, Red. Every time I call, you don't answer. I gotta round up my team and pay you a personal fucking visit. Put the phone down. Now. Everybody sit down. Sit the fuck down. Now. This Fair Play 2333, and I want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies. Welcome back to the Power Book Multiverse and Cinema Show, where you get the latest in Power Universe and Cinema Breakdown. Breakdown. If I'm on a mission, is you riding like some Michelin? Homie in the kitchen, fire stones, how he whipping it? I be on my Michigan, blue and yellow vintage. It's make a right on Michigan, 69 too hot for us. Stick on me like hockey puck, penmanship like Hamilton. Damn fool, I go Aaron Burr, 290 life just a blur. We see Carter pull up on Monet with the Task force. And it appears that Monet been trying to stiff Carter. Now, Carter agreed to let them go if they would work for him, but Monet not finna work for the cops, and Carter is not a person who finna just let these things go. So he shows up at their house. Now, in my personal opinion, I think that Monet is gonna give him a lot of kickback from this situation. We end up seeing him pull out the gun, and once he pull out the gun, maybe Monet will try to figure some things out with him at that moment. But moving forward, you know Monet might only be thinking about killing people and getting rid of them. Remember the guy um, who didn't go in her safe that she killed because she thought he went in the safe. And then after she killed him, she said, oh, well, it's just like a casualty of war. Carter not playing no games with nobody. He in this for the long run. And if anybody think anything different, he going to take them down now. We do have a synopsis later on. I think it's like episode seven or eight where they basically say that, you know, everybody come together, meaning Monet, Tyreek, and Noma. And I think after they get Zion out the way, they're going to understand that the bigger problem is Carter. Now, Carter has Zion working from him. That's evident because of the way Kamal Tate, when he came up with that information about Zion, Carter looked over it. Then we found out he dirty. Then he told Monet them he got every dealer working for him in the city. So so now if this dealer is not with him, it's over with, right? He is going to be focused on them because basically they destroying his operation. Now, what they actually destroying is him being able to make illegal money. But because Carter is crazy, he think that they're destroying his ability to have control over crime and protect civilians. So I think this, I can't wait. We got like a couple of more days before episode six come out. And then I'll be giving y'all a bunch more reviews. Um, y'all can see as everything has started to ramp up, I've started to do more videos and put more on the table. Thanks for listening to today's breakdown on Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. If you like what you heard, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and tell all your friends. I'm Fair Play 2333, and salute to all the cinema cronies. Thanks for listening to today's breakdown of Power Book 2, Ghosts. If you like what you heard, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. I'm Fairplay2333. This is Power Book Multiverse and Cinema, and salute to all my cinema cronies. Check out my original Chicago hood movie in the end screen, No Time to Play Fair. If your favorite Chicago rapper turned his mixtape or album into a movie, it will be no time to play fair, starring and directed by me, Fairplay2333.